In this video, I'm going to show you how to create actual versus remaining to target and above the target chart in Microsoft Excel. And the same technique you can use to create the chart in Google Sheet as well. Consider I have two column of data sheet. I have the certain target and the actual value. Consider product one. If I simply update the value, let's say I'm going to type 1200. Hit enter. Now you can see we have a portion above the target. And for the product 2, if I simply update the actual value to let's say 1000, hit enter. Now you can see we still have remaining 500 to a target value. So how we can create this amazing chart? I'm going to show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have three column of data sheet. We need to create three helper column. I will click on actual one. Simply type equal if condition open parenthesis. If the value in actual column is less than or equal to the target one, hit comma. In this case, I want to return the value from actual one, hit comma. Otherwise, if the value is false, I want to return the value from target, close parenthesis, hit enter and simply drag this formula down. For remaining to goal, I will apply a very easy if condition again. If Open parenthesis, if the value in actual one, again the same condition is less than or equal to the target one, then in this case, I will subtract the target from the actual data sheet, hit comma, otherwise I want to return a null value, close parenthesis, hit enter and simply drag this formula till the end of data sheet. For above goal, I will apply a very easy if condition. Again, click on G3 seal, type equal if condition, open parenthesis. In this case, I want if the value in actual one is greater than the target seal, hit comma, then in this case, I will subtract the actual from the target, hit comma. Otherwise, I want a null result, close parenthesis, hit enter and simply drag this formula till the end of data sheet. Now our data sheet are fully ready for the chart. I will select the first column. Hold control key and simply select the last three column. Click on insert, recommended chart, all chart. Click on bar chart and we need to select stake bar chart. And I will select the second layout and simply hit OK. Now I will increase the width and height of this chart a little bit more. Select any of the bar, right click, format data series. We need to decrease the gap width, let's say about 10%, hit enter. The next thing, I will click on vertical x-axis, right click, format x-axis. Here you can see category in reverse order, we need to check this one. And now our product are aligned with our table. I think we don't need the horizontal x-axis, I will simply click and hit delete key. And also we don't need the grid line, simply select and hit delete key as well. The next thing I will click on format. On a very left side, you can see a drop down, simply click on this one. First select the actual one, click on shape fill. In this case, we will assign this blue color. Again, click on the drop down, simply select remaining goal. In this case, I will select the light red color for this and for above the goal, I will select the light green color. Now our chart are fully ready. If I simply update this number, let's say 1500, hit enter, you can see it's automatically become green. Now we need to apply data label on our chart. I will simply select my chart, click on plus button and apply the data labels. Now the only problem we are facing in this data label, you can see a zero zero which is show for a null value. If I simply move this chart a little bit to the bottom area, we need to update these two formula and instead of null value, I will display NA result. So I will simply write NA, open close parenthesis, hit enter and simply drag this formula till the end of data sheet. For above the goal, I will update this formula as well. NA, open close parenthesis, hit enter and simply drag this formula down. And now you can see it's automatically hide those zero. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something useful. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. Thank you so much.